Hi everyone, this is Lexi again. Today I'm going to be doing a very short tutorial on a very basic uh, recoloring a picture for uh, The Sims 4. Um, you don't need to watch this tutorial if you know anything about Sims 4 Studio, but if you're brand new to making custom content, this is a good place to start. So, you're going to need Sims 4 Studio and a an image editor capable of exporting DDS files. I use paint.net, it's completely free, super easy to use. So for today's tutorial I recommend paint.net and you need to have Sims 4 Studio. So let's get started. First we're going to do a um, standalone recolor. frame are we going to use? Let's do this frame. Next. Uh, I'm going to be over here in my mesh folder, which if you know me, you know this is a, a disaster of a folder. Um, save it. Okay, so here's your painting. All we're going to do is we're going to replace this part right here with the photo of our choosing. Texture, export, um, it's actually going to be here. Mm. Save. Um, open it in paint.net. And the photo I'm going to use to replace this is actually this photo of me. Um, because I don't want there to be any distortion, I'm actually going to make the canvas a little bit bigger. Canvas size. I'm going to do it by 200, I think. You don't have to do this. Um, okay, by percentage. Oh, my numlock. <laughs> my keys were not on. Okay, um... Okay. So as you can see, that gives us some room to work with. So, we're going to come in here. Um do the uh, rectangle key and then we're going to highlight just the part that we want to change. So it's going to be from about... Mm. Hmm. All the way down to where it stops. Which is about here it looks like. Uh, we can do a little bit more. I'm going to take the yellow too. Okay, control C. Come back over here. Control V. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the white uh, move button here to move this square. Um, I can make it a little bit bigger. I can hold down shift and then expand that. Um, that maintains the proportions, but it gives us a bigger area to work with. Um, shift again. Let's go down a little bit. Uh, shift. Okay, good. Close enough. Control C. Come over here. Control V. Um, and now we can mess with it. <laughs> it's not a great picture of me. Um, now we can mess with the, little, the edges a little bit and we don't have to worry so much about the distortion. Should have shows a better picture. Oh. Who cares what I look like? Mm, play with your edges a little bit. Alright, I like it. File, save as. You want to make sure to, that it saves as a DDS file because if it doesn't, Sims 4 Studio won't be able to read it. So, uh, yeah, we'll save it as that. Save. Yes. Okay. Come over into Sims 4 Studio, import our picture. Ta-da! And then your next uh, step here is going to be to file, save as, uh, whatever package, save it in your mods folder, and then go into game and test it. Uh, that's it guys, like I said, super short tutorial today. Um, if you'd like to see any more tutorials, don't be afraid to uh, request it in the comments. Alright, thanks, have a good day.